Detectives have launched a murder investigation after a woman was found fatally injured in her Croydon home. Police were called by the London Ambulance Service at 10.40 hours on Wednesday, June the 21st to reports of a woman, aged in her mid-70s, found dead at a house on Ladbrook Road, SE 25. Her family has been informed. Formal identification is yet to take place. A post-mortem examination will be held in due course. Detectives from the Specialist Crime Command are leading the investigation. Detectives would like to speak with anyone who saw anything suspicious in the vicinity of Ladbroke Road, Detective Chief Inspector Kate Blackburn said. We are in the early stages of our investigation but I am urging anyone with information to contact us as soon as possible. An elderly woman has lost her life and it is vitally important that we establish what happened. Did you hear anything or see someone in the area who looked out of place? Please call us. Officers will remain in the area and anyone with concerns is advised to speak with them. There have been no arrests and inquiries continue. Anyone with information is asked to call police via 101 quoting reference CAD 2540-21 June. Thank you for watching our crime update news files. Maybe now is a good time to hit the subscribe button below it's absolutely free. An officer will face a misconduct hearing after being convicted of common assault following an incident in Southwark last year. PC Luke Wenham, attached to the Central South Basic Command Unit, appeared at Westminster Magistrate Escort on Wednesday, June the 21st where he was found guilty following a one-day trial of two counts of common assault. He is due to be sentenced on Wednesday, July the 26th. P.C. Wenham's conviction follows an investigation by the Independent Office for Police Conduct IOPC. On Wednesday, August 17, P.C. Wenham was one of a team of officers who attended an address in Albert Barnes House SE1 to carry out an arrest inquiry for a man wanted on suspicion of robbery. Entry was forced to the man's flat, but he climbed out of a window and began to scale down a drain pipe which ran the length of the block of flats. As he did so, P.C. Wenham leaned out of an open window and discharged PAVA spray at the man who continued to climb down the pipe. Together with other officers, P.C. Wenham attempted to locate the man, finding him on the balcony of another flat. When officers found him, the man continued his attempts to escape, climbing down the outside of the building as before. Again, P.C. Wenham deployed PAVA on him. When the man was brought to safety he was arrested and later convicted of 11 counts of robbery, 2 counts of criminal damage and 2 counts of racially aggravated public order. Met policy dictates that any time an officer uses PAVA spray the circumstances will be subject to review. In this case, following a review of PC Wenham's actions the matter was referred to the IOPC who carried out an independent investigation. On February 9, PC Wenham was charged with 2 counts of common assault. He has been on restricted duties since the investigation started. Now that criminal matters have concluded misconduct proceedings will commence. Detective Chief Superintendent Seba Jayado, local policing commander in South Wark and Lambeth, said officers know that their actions will be held to account and where any use of force is deployed. Must always consider whether it was necessary and proportionate to the circumstances. It is clear in this case that not only was P.C. Wenham's response completely disproportionate to the situation he faced, but also, by doing what he did, he put a member of public at risk of harm. P.C. Wenham has let down not only himself, but many hard-working police colleagues who strive to improve trust and confidence with our communities. A man has been arrested following a stabbing at Central Middlesex Hospital. Armed officers were among those responding after calls at 13:18 HRS on Wednesday, June 21, to reports that two people had been stabbed. Officers found two people with stab injuries. The first victim has injuries that are being treated as life-threatening. Being treated as life-threatening. Police arrested a man outside the hospital. He has also been conveyed to hospital having received injuries that are believed to be self-inflicted. His condition is being treated as life-threatening. Officers will remain in the hospital as further searches are conducted, but at this time they are satisfied that no one else is sought. Police are working to establish the circumstances. At this time the incident is not being treated as terror-related. The hospital was temporarily locked down but has now reopened and will be operating services as normal. There is a heightened police presence at the hospital while we investigate. Thank you for watching our crime update files. 
if you haven't subscribed as yet now is a good time absolutely free.